Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So, as you can see before us here, we have a brand new exhibit here in our zoo. On the right hand side here we have two gharials, there's one female and there's one male. I don't know where he's ran off to. Where's Daddy? There he is. That's Daddy Gharial. And then on our other side of the exhibit here we've got a saltwater crocodile. Here he is, he's a lovely lad, old G Sang. And when I first created this exhibit, it was going to be one exhibit with a little gap through the middle where a crocodile, so it's just going to be one crocodile, could flip between each side. And I changed that up because it was just going to be massively too big for one crocodile. So then I've changed it into two exhibits, one here, one here. And what we actually have now is a bit underneath. And I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a little while. Now, I actually time-lapsed me building all of this, but I unfortunately lost the footage all got corrupted, so it's a bit crap, but huh, crap happens, eh? So what I want to do is just briefly tell you what's been happening between episodes. As you can see, the zoo has changed quite a bit. So what I've done is I've actually taken the roofs off of these buildings here. So this one and our red rough lemur. So these had a roof over the top here, but I've taken that off. I think this looks so much better. It's so much more open. Um, it just it just looks so much better. So I'm really happy that. So this is the red panda exhibit. They're obviously hiding inside. And over this side, I obviously took off the roof for our red rough gleamers also. So it looks a lot better in my opinion. Really happy with that. Probably the biggest change to the zoo is this. Now I wanted to build something from scratch and I wanted to have a real focus point in terms of like a restaurant. Because the zoos that I've been to, they always have that really obvious, oh yeah, that is the main building. That has the restaurant, that has the toilet, ATM, all of that kind of jazz, all in one place. So I built this, I didn't build these, these are in-game. But I built this from scratch and I want something simple. So I know, I know it's simple, but I wanted it to be simple. And it simply has a chief beef, an information kiosk, and a gulpy, and a toilet. And then has a little staff bit down here. Um, this is all put together very quickly, just with a staff room and a power station. No one actually does it, but you can also come up this path here, goes through this area, and up here to this little viewing area. I really like it up here, but no one actually comes up here, but I hope that will change soon. So that's what's changed between episodes and what I'm going to do now is jump into the game and we're going to create this. So we're going to put all these trees in, all of these rocks and make it perfect for our guests to look at our gharials and our salt water crocodiles. Okay everybody, we are back in the zoo. We've got the gharials over this side. So this is, that's daddy gharial, Shivanch. And here we've got mummy gharial. She's really small, isn't she? She's Sanvi. Then over this side, we've got Mr. Crocodile. He's already pooped. Great. And he's Gisang. He's male. So what we need to do, as you can probably tell, is we need to get all of our rocks, trees, and we've done this little sitting area here. So that, I mean, I'm hoping this and this walkway will provide lots of money via the donation boxes, hopefully, because we're fairly low. Anyway, let's pause the game. It's just started to rain. So let's start with the gharials first. Now, their nutrition's actually okay, that's good. Very low enrichment, their terrain's not great, and they, they want a little bit more water, actually. Okay, so if we go in and we say remove water, then we'll make this bit over here, we go down to like four. Hopefully then we can make this water as well obstruct it. Oh. I've finally sorted out their water issues, they were driving me a little bit mental, but we've done that so now let's do terrain. So they've got too much short grass and they want more rock and sand. All oh, about to mate. Go on, you, you bloody go for it you guys. So what was it? Rock and sand. So let's get, if we do rock around our little lake if that makes sense a bit like that then i think they wanted sand so get some sand up here 
kind of go a bit patchy. I don't know how much short grass they want. If they want all of it gone or just some. So let's do that. Okay, so terrain is also 100%. So now it's enrichment. It's enrichment, plants and rock. We can do that. So let's do the enrichment first. So we're here on Gari already. So let's get a rubbing pad. Let's try and get that right there. Get one there. So then guests can really see them using that, hopefully. Getting a ball. There's an ice ball. Getting a sprinkler. Getting a sprinkler somewhere like... Um, let's get that in maybe up there. Getting a water pipe. That way they always have access to clean water. There we go. That looks good there. Let's have that there. What else would you like, Mr. Gariel? Species food enrichment. Do we have any food enrichment for these guys? We've got a mud bath. I assume that doesn't count, but we have got a mud bath. I should probably check that these guys can't get out as well. All good? Yeah, okay, perfect. So they actually want some species of food enrichment, which we can definitely do. So let's make sure that we prioritise that. So let's get someone on Gariel and someone on Saltwater Crocodile. And then we can go around and kind of just think about rock work, how we want to kind of have this habitat look. So let's just get some rocks in. Um, and we'll think about plants and what we want to do with our planting. Let's get some rocks here as well. And what we do is if any of them do overlap the fence, we can pop some rocks and some plants on the other side of the fence just so you can't see that basically let's get um, I like that there we could actually just have them coming out on some bigger rocks like that get a rock in there I see I don't know if I like that one okay we've got some rocks there now how much foliage do these guys want yeah, so you definitely want some. So they're Asia Aquatic Tropical Temperate. So let's go down there. Tropical Temperate Aquatic for Asia. So we've got the banana palms. These look really cool. They look really... Well, I think they look really cool. Like with rocks like that. Because a little bit of greenage to the rocks. Beach tree. I don't know if beach tree was a... Um, See, that would look quite nice if we get a line of surface off and pop that kind of over there. That would be a nice little backdrop to the habitat. Get some of these bird nest ferns around the place. Okay. Then we've got like black thorn bushes. These are, again, quite nice like in the corners and stuff just to really set that as a place where, you know, the um, Gari's probably won't go. Let's get some stuff around that tree. Okay, now, hmm, do we get the infamous cherry blossom in? I, know, I never know with cherry blossoms because sometimes they look absolutely stunning. And I know it just means sometimes they can look pretty bad. So I would like to get some in. Because, you know, the pink really stands out and it does make it look really awesome. Let's get some lilies in. So that is actually enough for them. Like, they're pretty happy with that. I feel like we need to get a few more bits and bobs. Get, like, a rose bush over there. What else could we get in? Himalayan birch, they look really cool. So let's get some of them kind of go in into the water. Because I really like the look of them. I quite like that, it's really simple, but it works, and I quite like that. 
Simple's always good. I like simple. So this is Ivy, so they're actually happy. This that's very good as well, actually. But, you know, that means they're actually happy with the Ivy that we've got going up. Going up the columns there. So let's get a little bit of Ivy. That will also contribute to the plants we have in here. I'm surprised. Oh, I'll put in temp oh no, they're happy with temperate. That's a really weird thing. I was, oh my god, I'll put in temperate, but they they like temperate, you silly boy brothers. Right, so let's get like a few nettles. Just a few little bits and bobs around the place. Um, what else have we got? So I really like putting in not really flowers so much, but stuff just to brighten the place up. And you want it so it looks realistic. You know, that's something that I, I try to focus on quite a lot is to I try my best to make something look as realistic as I can. So Mysteria there will look cool. I don't want too much. We're just little bits and bobs. Maybe we keep going like the fill. Um, and I can actually I can um, adjust that one so it goes down a little bit more. Yeah, okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. I like that. And we obviously haven't got room in here for a shelter for these guys, but I don't think they actually mind that. I think they're fairly happy with what they've got. So that's the Garials done. They are happy. We also need to get some information boards up here, some speakers, all of that kind of stuff. We can actually definitely get a speaker here because this is far away from our crocodile habitat. This is a perfect place. So that is going to be Gariel. We'll move it down a tad. It actually needs to rotate. I like to have these so that top bit of the speaker is just showing. I just think that means, you know, I think to me that's a lot more realistic. Actually having the speaker showing, I really don't like it when you just don't see anything. So I, just, I just don't think that's very realistic. Okay, awesome. So that's Lowe's done there. Low welfare, yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna come to you now, bud. So we'll leave it on play. He's actually hungry as well. Can we have someone come and fill these up, please? No, done it again. Cool keeper to habitat. Let's get these guys fed. So I'm actually gonna fast forward now into daytime, and hopefully the snow will go and it means that we can then see our habitats a little bit easier. Okay, it's raining, but that's absolutely fine. So, Mr. Gisang, what can we do for you? So terrain-wise, oh God, he's got the same. He doesn't like his water. He wants some more water. Okay, thing is, is where he is, if I try and do that now, he is gonna be in the way. So let's, let's box up this guy. And then let's take away the water that's already there. And then we're gonna simply go down to minute three. And we'll just get into that bit a little bit more. Get a bit closer here. Smooth that out. And that all needs to be short grass for the moment anyway. Just so we know what we're doing. If we put the water back in, that I mean, I'd be very surprised if that doesn't fulfill Mr. Gisang's needs for water. Yep, absolutely perfect. So, terrain. So, he doesn't like the short grass. He wants more soil and rock. Okay, so let's go with rock. Uh, actually, no, let's do soil. And let's do soil around the edge of the lake this time. Do something a little bit different. That's it. Just like that. Definitely want his, oh no, that's the wrong one. Want heavy rock. His shelter in rock would be cool, because that makes sense. Like that. Get a bit more rock around the place. And then we'll mix that up with some light soil. A bit like that. Going up towards the 90s, 98%, lovely. 100%, absolutely perfect. Just do little spots of soil here and there. Right, so that's his terrain, perfect. Now, what else can we do? So that's good. Now he wants his enrichment catered for. So I always go into the wrong one. There we go. And let's go to species. And we want saltwater crocodile. There he is. 
So, we can get in his habitat bedding. So let's get lion. Like that. So he can now go in there for a kit. He's also got stuff like the rubbing pad. So we want this where guests can see him using it. So get a rubbing pad in, get a sprinkler. Get a sprinkler up there. He can play with that. Water pipe. I don't think the best place to put this really. We could go over here and maybe against. Can I go up like there? That's pretty cool. We haven't got anything else for the moment. Obviously, we are researching stuff for the saltwater crocodile and the garrels at the moment, so that should really, really help. What's happening here? Animal is hungry. Well, you've just got some stuff down, guys. So if you go and eat, then you won't be hungry. That's kind of how it works. So, Mr. Gi Sang, what can we do in terms? You don't like arrow wood, arrow. Oh, if I can speak, arrow wood bush. I assume is that one. Let's move that out of your way. And how are you now? Yeah, you're actually good. Like you're happy with that. So you want Oceana, Asia, Oceana, Asia, tropical and aquatic, tropical aquatic. And we'll just get a few bits out, like the common reeds. I like putting the reeds in these lake areas. Sorry, I'd like to make him get moved. Sorry, got, um, Mr. Crocodile Man. Okay, what else can we get? Get a few. Oh, I don't know if I like the coconut trees or not. I don't really think I do. Let's get a few plants in. What else have we got here? Custard apple tree. That looks pretty cool in the corner. Kapop We're not getting kapok tree, Brad. We're not getting the kapok tree. A few more trees over here like in this back bit. Just to really fill it out. Get the fountain bamboo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What else have we got then? I don't want to put too much in. He's fairly close already to being a little bit unhappy at how much is in here. So I don't know if I like that there. Let's get a few bits in. I like that. And then we'll end it with a few little lilies and little bits. We won't put too much in because we don't want to make them unhappy at the end of the day. So there we go. So is he okay? He can move. Is he going to move around? Yeah. There you go, Mr. Geesang. I hope you like your habitat. And we also need to get some paths over this side and do similar to what we've done there. VIP guests. Hello, Lauren Jones. And apparently I'm also here. Okay. Oh, we've got three challenges. What are our challenges? Education of Red Panda. Release one animal into the wild. And two exhibit species. I think that is what I want to do next. I think next I do want to get like the exhibits in. Like a little reptile house or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, pathways over here, if we get that one in there, we'll get that going straight, then we can align to grid, go to that one. Let's have a grid like that, and then we'll connect that up with this path just here, like so. Then people can also come over here have a little look at what we've got, have a look at our crocs. Let's put in some benches. Like so. We'll put in a couple of bins. And we do have some flowers over there, so we can maybe put in. If we go to construction, put in planter. I'll we'll pop in a planter right in the middle there. And then we'll put some flowers in that. Let's get rid of all of them. We'll pop in maybe those. I quite, I quite like them. Let's put in them. Gives it a little bit of colour there. Right, now we need to put in our facilities donation boxes, which we're going to have. Maybe we'll have these in like a brown. We've done those in green. Maybe we'll, these will go brown. Let's get one there, one there. Just so it looks a little bit different. Actually, I'm going to move that one 
to there. And then, it looks like that fence needs to be moved up a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Because that one's, oh, that one's much higher. I did not actually realise that. Okay, so let's go there to there. And let's raise that up. Like so, we'll raise that bit up there as well. Need to get a rock there just to kind of block that off. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Right, let's get out an information screen. What, oh no, that's a blank one. I want that one. I never know what way these go. There you go, right. So let's have that, turn that, no, like there. That one can go there. Then we'll also get one of these speakers and we'll put that right beneath it and like the other ones we'll just twist that around like that like that and then sink that down into the ground um, that's fine it's come out a little oh no that's not fine move that to there what we'll do is we'll just pop it into the ground a bit up that, move it a bit there. There we go, I'm happy with that. It's not perfect, but it's fine. So water crocodile, that can be like that kind of size. This one over here can be a little bit larger as well, like that. Then we'll say that this is gonna be for salt water, salt water crocodile. And then we'll check that speaker yet. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so I really like that. That's good. Right, let's get a couple of information screens up here as well. Do I need to raise these up? So let's get one there. We're also going to get one all way round. I think it's that way round. So we'll get one there and here. What kind of height is that? Like there. Oh, bloody one wrong way around. Right, that one's a water crocodile. This one here. Can I just move the actual TV? And then move it like that. There we go, easy peasy. So water crocodile. Perfect. And if we switch around, we'll get some for Mr. Gario. Well, and Mrs. Can't forget the Mrs. Right, let's raise that up. It needs to be like there. And we'll get these. Well, we'll get one there. Then again, we'll do the same thing. About there. And we'll get one of those a bit more down this way, maybe there. How's that look? Yeah, perfect. Right, so that is Gariel. That is Gariel. I hope you enjoyed the episode today, guys. Please tune in next time. I think we're going to have a go at trying to build a reptile house. So we'll have a go at that. And in between episodes, I will fill out these green areas, if I remember, and just make it look a little bit more cluttered shall we say with some foliage so have an awesome day and i'll see you again very shortly in the next episode see you later thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later